After a trip to Northern California that saw the Sun Devils go 1-3 against Stanford and Santa Clara, Arizona State Baseball returned to Phoenix Muni to take on the last place USC Trojans this weekend. And in all three games against the Trojans, the Sun Devil bats were key to victory. Game 1 on Thursday night was the definition of a slugfest, as the starters for both sides had crooked numbers in the scorecard by the fourth inning, which you can credit to by a home run by USC's Tyler Lozano in the second inning, and a home run by ASU's Nate Baez and Will Rogers, which put the Devils up 6-4 through 4. From there, each team traded punches until the Sun Devils came out victorious 14-12. Game 2 of the series was Dustin Pedroia night, and the Sun Devils looked strong with Pedroia looking on, as ASU starter Kyle Luckham had 7 innings of 2-run baseball, and got some help from the hitting of Connor Davis, who went 3-4 for four on the night with an RBI, and Jacob Tobias, who batted in the go-ahead run in the 4th inning. The Devils would go on and tack 5 more runs to the scoreboard, and win it by a final of 8-2. I just uh, wanted to be on attack. All night, you know, first AB hung a changeup. I wasn't gonna let that one go. And then next AB, I just got right back to the fastball. I think that's just, for me at least, just the, the connecting between ABs that happened last weekend at Stanford, just positively, even when I was getting out and stuff like that, just continuing to see the ball better. And, you know, I think that just helped. Game three on Saturday saw the Devils looking to complete the sweep. And for the first four innings of the game, they looked to be well on their way. With the offense firing early and often, the team went up 5 to nothing on USC, and Southpaw Adam Tulloch was dealing as all three of his punch outs came through those first three innings of the game. But command once again became an issue for the Arizona State bullpen, and USC slowly but surely clawed back into the game, putting up eight unanswered runs and having full control of the game going into the later innings. In the bottom of the eighth though, things began to turn to the Sun Devils favor as Jacob Tobias hit a two-run shot to right center field to cut the deficit to one, and later in the inning, Joe Lampy played hero. Go, 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 go! That homer into the right field corner propelled ASU to a 9-8 victory, and their first series sweep of a conference opponent this season. And that eighth inning comeback put up by the Sun Devils on Saturday afternoon was the capper to a week in which the team went 4-0 and outscored their opponents by a score 52-23. And that plus 29 run differential was a key sign of growth for first year head coach Willie Bloomquist. You know, I was kind of emotional after today's game just because it was very, very cool to see how they responded to, to getting knocked down, to getting punched in the mouth. And they came back and showed me something today and I just kind of related it to life. No matter what you're doing in business or a marriage or whatever it might be, um, you keep fighting, you keep grinding, no matter what, and you keep pushing. And uh, these guys showed me a lot today, which was very cool. Arizona State will try and use the momentum they gained this weekend into a Tuesday night one-off game against Cal State Northridge. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Kevin Later.